Assalamu alaikum everyone, Ramadan is right around the corner and I wanted to share a few of my favorite recipes you can try out this Ramadan. I'll be showing you how to make chicken pakoras, masala fries, samosas, and chaat papri which are simply delicious. Let's start with the chicken pakoras. What you'll need is half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of chili powder, 10 curry leaves, two tablespoons of fresh coriander, two tablespoons of mint, two to three small green chili minced, half a cup of onions chopped, one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste, four tablespoons of rice flour, six tablespoons of besan aka chickpea flour, two diced chicken breast, one tablespoon of water, one egg white and some oil mix all the ingredients together except the chicken and egg white because you'll be tasting this mixture to see if it needs any salt i tried it and i needed a little bit more salt so i added a quarter teaspoon of salt once i'm happy with the flavor i added the egg white and the chicken and i mixed it all together once everything is combined it should look something like this in a pan, add some oil on medium heat and I started to drop in some chicken one by one. Make sure to get a drop of all the ingredients and not just the chicken. Flip them over once they are golden brown, take them out and place them on a paper towel so the oil drains out. And there you have it, crispy, flavorful chicken pakoras. You can serve it with any chutney on the side. Next, we'll be making my favorite masala fries. They're super easy to make. All you need is spicy fries or regular fries with spices of your choice, one medium onion, one medium tomato, half a green pepper, handful of coriander, one jalapeno, half a lemon. For the chutneys, you can make them at home or you can buy them at the store. The ones I have are from the store and they are the garlic chili, tamarind date, coriander cilantro chutneys. Start off by placing the fries in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes or until they are crispy and golden. In a mixing bowl, combine all the fresh ingredients as well as the chutneys. I like to put about one to two tablespoons of each of the chutney, but you can add however much you like. It just depends on your preference. Mix it all together and squeeze half a lemon for some more flavor. Once everything is combined, toss the fries into the mixture and serve it right away. Trust me guys, this is one of my favorite recipes and it's super addicting so be careful. Now we'll be making some showstopper beef samosas. This was highly recommended so if you guys try this out, please tag me. What you'll need is samosa wraps. I have the spring roll pastry that I am going to be cutting in half. I'll show you guys that later. Two and a half pounds of ground beef. I'll be making a large batch. So this is perfect for throughout Ramadan. Three medium sized onions. One tablespoon of green chili minced. A quarter cup of cilantro. 1 teaspoon of white pepper, 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of ginger powder, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of chili powder or paprika for less spice, a tablespoon of coriander powder, 1 tablespoon of cumin powder, and one teaspoon of chili flakes and in a small bowl i've combined four tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of flour for later i will have all the ingredients down in the description so if you guys need to refer back to that you can firstly add two tablespoons of oil in a pan and add the ground beef cook the meat for about four to five minutes on medium heat then add the chopped onions and minced chili once the onion is starting to look a little transparent add the spices and mix it all together 
for another three to four minutes. Lastly, add the cilantro at the end for some freshness. Now to assemble the samosa. I cut the pastry in half and I covered it with a damp towel. This is so that it doesn't dry out. Take a sheet of pastry and lay it flat on your surface. Then take the top and roll it into a cone. Place or dab a little bit of the flour mixture on the end like so and seal it closed. Take a spoon or two of the beef. I like to put two tablespoons of the beef so it's nice and meaty and place it inside. Add more of the flour mixture on the open side and close it shut like so. And you should have a perfect triangle like this. This makes about three dozen samosas and I like to freeze them so that it lasts me the entire Ramadan. In a pan, add oil and heat it up at medium heat. Fry them up on both sides until they are golden brown. And that's how you make the perfect crispy samosas. Lastly, I'll be making my favorite street food of them all, Jat Bapri. It's more of a Ramadan snack, but I eat this throughout the year because I love it so much. All you need is Jat Bapri. This is about 285 grams, one medium onion, one medium tomato, half a green pepper, a quarter cup of chopped parsley or coriander, whatever you prefer, four small tomatoes, one can of chickpeas, tamarind chutney, garlic chili chutney, coriander cilantro chutney, and half a cup of yogurt. Oh yeah, and lastly, pomegranates. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, you guys, this is how they do it back home, street food style, and it makes a difference. Start by combining everything that's fresh, chickpeas, and chutneys. I like to put about one to two tablespoons of each chutney, Boil the potatoes, dice them, and add it to the mixture as well. Don't forget the pomegranates. I like to put a handful of these. Once it's all mixed, it's time to assemble it together. First, place the chat papri at the bottom. Place the mixture on top. Next, add the yogurt and drizzle some more chutney on top. This makes it look so beautiful. Sprinkle some more pomegranates and there you have it. It's a masterpiece. It tastes so good and refreshing. It's the perfect combination of texture, taste, and flavors. If you try any of these recipes out, please tag me. I would love to see it. I do have another Middle Eastern recipe for Ramadan coming up next week, so stay tuned for that. It will be the perfect recipe to try out this month. With that being said, early Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. I hope this video helps you out. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Assalamu alaikum.